Five students taken to the hospital after their school bus overturned in a crash with a tractor. Live Cop to 3 HD shows us exclusive video of the scene in Dixon. The crash happened in Dixon about 7.30 a.m. at Hackman and Rungi Roads. That is near East Pedrick Road. KCRA 3's Chris Riva joins us live now from Sutter Davis Hospital, where those who were hurt were taken. Chris? Well, Walt, of the five students on board, two are actually transported to the hospital here. They were transported to the three regional hospitals, but here at Sutter Davis, the patient that we spoke to that was transported here is okay, more shaken up than injured at this point, and that seems to be the extent of the injuries for all those that were on board. Very scary moments earlier today. Here's what's left of the bus after it collided with the tractor about 7.30 this morning. We are told by witnesses, and the CHP does confirm, that the tractor was trying to make a left-hand turn with its signals on when the bus for some reason was going to try to pass on the left, a double yellow. At that point, the driver tried to correct before hitting the tractor, couldn't do it, rolled right up onto the back tire of the tractor, flipping the bus over. Reaction now from one, a person that was on scene, one of the farm workers that helped get the kids off the bus, and two, a parent when they saw the bus and found out that their child was on board. A couple of them were pretty good. Some of them were a little upset. The more that were upset were the ones that were trapped kind of sideways with the seatbelt across them because we had to raise them up and unbuckle the seatbelt. They were just shaken up and scared, which totally understandable for that. It was terrible. When I, when I saw the photo, yeah, and I thank God uh, um, my daughter is the, yeah, well, as you can see, uh, she's perfect now. Well, certainly some scary moments, not only for the individuals witnessing the accident, but also some parents and the kids on board. All of the students were special education students ranging in age from 16 to 22. They are expected to be okay. Some bumps and bruises, but a very scary scene earlier this morning in Dixon. Reporting live in Davis, Chris Riva, KCRA 3.